Let's talk about how to increase your height. Is it possible? Yes, it sure is. In practice over the years, I've had a handful of patients who had kids that really were not developing and that certain children in the family were taller, but another child really was not uh, growing like they should. And so they wanted my advice. So I'm going to tell you what I recommended because it was successful. Now, normally between age one and puberty, you should grow roughly about two inches a year. And then when you reach puberty, it should be about four inches a year. And then you pretty much stop growing between the ages of 18 and 20. And that's a generality because some people stop growing a little bit before that, and yet others continue to grow a little bit longer than that. But that's roughly the age group that you stop growing. So if you're that age or less, and you want to grow a little bit more, uh, what I'm about to tell you may help you. And of course, there's a genetic limitation. However, if you are deficient in certain nutrients, um, that can significantly affect your height. So the three hormones that are involved in growth are number one, human growth hormone, okay? And that is produced by the pituitary gland and it works through the liver. The next hormone is IGF-1, that's insulin-like growth factor, number one. And that hormone is made by your liver and it's controlled by the growth hormone. And then we have the thyroid. If the thyroid is not producing enough hormones, that can create a stunted growth. So let's start with the growth hormone. What could create a growth hormone deficiency? Well, the number one nutrient that can affect growth hormone is zinc. So children with stunted growth are mainly deficient in zinc. And people with a growth hormone deficiency are usually deficient in zinc. So zinc is a very important trace mineral needed for more chemical reactions than all the other trace minerals combined. And a couple of things that will create a zinc deficiency, consuming too many foods with phytates and phytates are in all the grains. So all those so-called healthy whole grains that they tell you to eat um, can create a major zinc deficiency. And then of course you have other things that will deplete zinc, uh, sugar, refined carbohydrates, alcohol, caffeine, stress, not consuming enough foods with zinc. Like let's say you don't consume any red meat or shellfish, or let's say you're a vegan, okay? All those things can create a zinc deficiency. The other thing that can create a uh, growth hormone deficiency is starvation. Now I'm not talking about doing fasting with all of your nutrients. I'm talking about starvation where you're starving your body of all the vitamins, minerals, nutrients, amino acids, essential fatty acids, that type of thing. Now, personally, I think I stunted my growth because I'm only 6'2". Uh, my dad's 6'5". My brother is 6'7", I think. It could be 6'8". My mom is six foot. No, she's 5'10", but I am only 6'2". And I think what I did to stunt my growth was I wrestled in ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade, and then starting in college before I fractured my neck. And you talk about having to cut weight and starve yourself through the season. Uh, that was me. So I remember uh, one time I had a wrestling match and I had to cut weight and I was way over. So within three days, I dropped a tremendous amount of weight. And to do that, I wore these plastic bags and I exercised pretty much all day and I sweat and I barely drank hardly any water. I think I ate a few celery sticks and uh, a couple of French fries from McDonald's and a few other things that were not the healthiest thing on the planet but I was weak, I was tired, I was pushing myself. And of course I made weight and then I just totally pegged out again. And that went on for some years. So all that starving and exercise and stress and lack of nutrients probably had a significant negative effect on my overall health. So as far as growth hormone deficiencies, you need zinc, okay? You also need enough protein, you need sufficient protein. So those people who do not consume enough protein um, can inhibit growth hormone. And then number three, and this is very important, sleep. Apparently growth hormone works when you're sleeping. Okay. So if you're not sleeping that well, if you have sleep problems and you're a teenager, that could be the thing that can stunt your growth. Next thing on the list is obesity. The more fat that you have on your body, the less growth hormone that's going to be activated. And then you have other factors like smoking or secondhand smoking that can inhibit growth hormone. And also caffeine. I mean, think about how many teenagers that are consuming 
massive amounts of caffeine and sugar, which will deplete your zinc. Now, out of all the age groups, it's the teenager group that consumes the most ultra processed junk foods. So talk about nutritional deficiencies. Now there's one more nutrient that can create a deficiency in growth hormone, and that is a lack of vitamin D. Now that's a common thing nowadays with kids because they don't go outside enough, they're pretty much sitting behind the computer the great majority of the day. Now, as far as the other two hormones, we have insulin-like growth factor. If there's any damage with the liver, let's say for example, your liver is fatty because you eat a lot of carbohydrates or high fructose corn syrup, that can inhibit that hormone IGF number one and affect your growth. Now, when we get to the thyroid gland, thyroid gland is very sensitive to an iodine deficiency. So with an infant or a small child or a teenager that does not have sufficient iodine, that can greatly stunt your growth. Iodine is mainly in seafood, shellfish, uh, sea kelp, and it's in other foods that are grown close to the seashore. But if that food is grown inland, chances are it's not going to have much iodine. So if you're watching and you're a young adult or you're a parent that has a child that wants to maximize their height, these are the things that you want to put on the list. Number one, a good trace mineral product that has zinc in it, okay? Because you never want to just take zinc alone. You want to take it in a blend of all the trace minerals. Number two, this is the product that I would search out and find and recommend. It's called Pituitrophin PMG. It's, it's a product that is sold by a company called Standard Process. You can look it up. And um, I'm not affiliated with that company, but it's a really good product to support the pituitary gland that makes growth hormone. And I personally recommended it and saw the difference in height of certain kids that took it. You just want to take one before bed for about three months. The next thing on the list is to get a lot of sleep. If you're not sleeping, that is a factor you need to address. I'll put some links down below of what to do if you have insomnia. And this is a really common reason why people are zinc deficient. Too many phytates in the diet. Phytates are in grains. So you need to avoid grains. And that way you don't have things in your diet that are actually blocking zinc. And then the next vitamin, of course, is vitamin D. Ideally, the best way to get vitamin D is through the sun. Okay, get your kids out in the sun uh, several hours a day. That would be very, very smart. If they can't do it, then give them a vitamin D supplement. All these things are going to maximize your height potential, but you also must focus on your diet. And I think the best way to figure out the healthiest diet you should be on is take a look at what everyone's recommending, especially the food pyramid. Okay, well, look what the government is recommending and then use that as a check sheet to do the opposite, okay? The majority of your diet, either whole grains or starchy carbohydrates in the form of potato, whole grain, rice, things like that. Those are the foods that you absolutely want to omit from your diet. They're gonna tell you to avoid saturated fats and consume more vegetable oils. No, you want to consume saturated fats and you wanna avoid vegetable oils because you can do that safely because your carbohydrates will be very low because you're not gonna be consuming sugars. Now, when they recommend consuming fruits and vegetables, they're also allowing you to consume canned fruit and even fruit juice as your fruit and vegetables. So I don't recommend that because that fruit juice is pasteurized and it's so concentrated with sugar. It's not benefiting you in any way at all. Now, of course, they're going to tell you to avoid red meat. Well, where do you think you get zinc? Red meat is one of the best sources of zinc. So in summary, the best diet it would be the healthy ketogenic diet. Now, if you're trying to maximize your height, should you do fasting? Well, I think you should do intermittent fasting because one of the potent stimulators of growth hormone is fasting. But just to make sure you get all your nutrients, let's say you just uh, do the type of fasting that you, you avoid snacks and you have three meals or even two meals, but these meals are really nutrient dense. I think that can help you. So anyway, try some of the things I recommended and then come back and type in your comments down below so we can hear your success story. I think the best next video for you to watch would be on zinc. Check it out, I put it right here.